Okay, this is part uh, two for the question on page 381, number five. So this will be 5B. So we're taking the same rectangular prism in 5A. So I've got that rectangular prism drawn. I've got the length, which was P, and then they said the height and the width of the rectangular prism were two centimeters less than the length. So I've got everything labeled. What B? B is kind of an odd question. Um, it says the rectangular prism has two square faces, right? So that's correct. Uh, this is one of the square faces, and this is the second square face. So, yep, the rectangular prism has two square faces, and it says write an expression in simplest factor form where, which represents the total length of the edges that make up the two square faces. So what B is asking, it's essentially asking what would the perimeter be of just those two square faces, right? So it's saying add up the edge lengths of each of those two squares and what would the perimeter be? So perimeter is like the distance around the shape and this is a square. So all of these sides are the same and we know that the length is P minus two. Right, so that's P minus two, each side is P minus two. So if I said, okay, well, what's the perimeter of this square? You could say to me, P minus two plus P minus two plus P minus two plus P minus two, right? Because there's four sides to a square. Or you could simplify this by saying P minus two, and then because there's four sides to a square, multiply that by four. Plus, we have to do that second square, right? So this square here, each edge is P minus 2. And I, if I said, okay, well, what's the perimeter of this square here? P minus 2 plus P minus 2 plus P minus 2 plus P minus 2. Or P minus 2, again, times 4. So this is our answer. But it's not quite simplified. So what I'm hoping that you, if I said, well, how would you simplify this? So it looks uh, quite complex, right? And what you have to realize is that these are like terms, P minus 2 and P minus 2. So I'm just going to add the numbers in front of them. So 4 P minus 2 plus 4 P minus 2, that would simply be 8 P minus 2. This is a perimeter question, so I'm going to put perimeter in front. So the perimeter is equal to 8p minus 2, and then this would be centimeters.